Hello everyone. Uh, doing a video that's a little bit of a different topic than I normally do. And this one's on, uh, you could call it self-defense or animal defense methods. I'm going to talk a bit about pepper spray. In my job, I, I, go, I have to go into a lot of yards and sometimes farm yards and I, you know, you don't want to shoot a dog or something's coming at you. It's somebody's pet even though it's a guard dog. But you don't want them attacking you either. And in most cases what I do is I carry a bag of dog treats with me, snossages to be exact. And I've yet to encounter a dog that can resist snossages. I've had like a huge a wolfhound that was, you know, nipple height on me, come running at me. And as soon as I whip out a snossage treat, all of a sudden he's my buddy and the only thing I gotta worry about is him jumping up on me wanting to play because he's so happy. So that works really well, but occasionally it won't. And and you might encounter the, the two-legged predator. And so some of the things I got that I keep with me are pepper spray. And this is a little one, and it has a little, it's more meant for hand carry. It has a little Velcro adjustable strap. And you can adjust for smaller hands or big meathead hands, or you can put it on your belt, wherever you want. And it just, so if you're a jogger or a walker, you can keep it with you at all times. I mean, you can put it on your wrist so it's out of the way, whatever. And I mean, they're, they're simple to use. You just push the trigger off the safety and push it down. And it'll shoot about 15 feet. This one's a, a fine jet. They, they have different ones with a wide fan spray and the fine jet. And this one's a fine jet, which is, is good for animals or something when you have time to react and aim. And so you just shoot like in two or three second bursts and it, they work really well. As there's that one. This one was about six or seven dollars on Amazon. So they're cheap to get and have around. I bought a few of them, gave one to my wife to keep in her car or her purse, and I gave one to my mother to keep. Just make sure you tell them how to use them so they don't end up spraying themselves in the face. That wouldn't be pleasant. Another one I bought is a little one that fits on a keychain. It has a nice little leather holster, and it can be used in the holster. You just pop the, the snap, and the same thing. Just turn the trigger, push down. And this one's more of a fan, so you don't have to be as accurate. It's kind of in a panicky situation at close quarters. You can still get an animal or a, a person with it. And it's, again, just a small Sabre brand. I think all of mine are Sabre brand. They're the major manufacturer of them. They supply police forces and, and all sorts of people with them, government agencies. And they, they work great. I mean, they're cheap enough. I think this one with the case was $20 in a key ring. You can keep them on your key ring or put them wherever you want. I've seen some in these little heather holsters that have a bolt or a, a belt strap. That would be cool. I like this one though. And just Like I said, you just keep it in the case, switch that, takes a second, boom, spray it, you're done. And it's always safe with the, with the cover flap on it. You can't accidentally open it and spray yourself. So this is good too for, for women, say, that carry it in their purse or something. It won't accidentally get sprayed. I have accidentally, not with this one, but with another one, I'll show you in a minute, accidentally sprayed it in my car. And man, that car was horrible to drive that day. I had to take it in, steam clean it, and get it ozone with an ozone eater. And this is another one. This, again, is a Saver product. This is called the Magnum. And it has a belt clip. It's a plastic case, and it has one of those regular, these type things, same size in it, a little bigger fits inside of it, so you can replace them. I mean, the cases are reusable. And same thing, it just has a, you flip it over, and it has a tab, so it can't accidentally get pushed. You have to actually push on it. So this is a really good one. And it, it gives you a nice, good hand hold, so you're not gonna drop it if you're in panic mode or anything. And this one also was, I believe, $20. I mean, they're well worth it for the peace of mind they give you. If you, if you're, you do a lot of, walking out in the wilderness, jogging, mountain biking, geocaching, uh, uh, metal detecting. You never know what you're going to encounter. Coyotes, I've had people walking their dogs that I've, well, people I've known, and there was one in the news here a little while ago. These people were walking a dog, and this was a 90-pound dog, and a couple coyotes got it and just ripped it to shreds. So even a big dog isn't safe from a pack of coyotes. They'll, they'll get you. And, and this will make short work of them. I've never seen an animal that can't be repelled by pepper spray. Make sure you get the maximum strength you can. I mean, they're cheap enough. And go for a good brand, like, like Sabre. 
I don't know about some of the other ones. I've, I've always stuck with Saber, and, and they're, they're really strong. They're strong, and expensive, and effective. I think everyone should have them. You know, that some people like guns. There's nothing wrong with having guns. I have a gun, too. I have a couple guns. But, but when you don't have to shoot someone, this is perfect. It's great. And you know, you can always play jokes on your friends and spray them in their face when they're sleeping. That's good for a lot of laughs, too. Anyway. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And stay safe out there.